not talking about the same thing. I think a lot of you are under the misconception that when we say sleep training, we mean that there must be some crying it out involved in it. And that's not what we mean at all. Sleep training means two things. Number one, a consistent routine. And number two, troubleshooting. And sometimes some parents need help with that. Sometimes they need an impartial third party that has a degree in this to come and help them get to their set goals. And different families also have different goals when it comes to sleeping. Some do want the straight 12 hours, don't bother me, anything like that. Some are like, no, I still want a nurse in the middle of the night. And some are like, you know what, I'm on a night shift, so I'd like my child to be awake during these hours and asleep during these hours so that we can spend more time together. So it means different things for different people. And also, different children have different styles. And so sometimes you have to adjust your style for the different child and again sometimes parents need help with that because they're too exhausted to be able to do this so that's where if you can afford it and you have the privilege to you could potentially consider getting a sleep consultant's help so that they can help you troubleshoot the situation and that they can also help you achieve your goals but it does not necessarily mean that they have to cry it out and I say that from experience, no shame or judgment at all to anyone who uses crying as a method to get their children to sleep but I wasn't able to do it before I had kids, I thought I could handle it, but I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Whenever they cried, I was like, must go and tend to them. And so there was no crying involved with us when we sleep trained our kids, but we also had to have two different types of environments for two different children to help them sleep through the night. And our goals were all night. Sleep is very important. Having adequate sleep, especially for a growing child, is super important. It's good for their general health, it's good for their behavior, it's good for their immune system. So this is a very important thing to try to tackle on early. When I was saying like started around six months, that's why I said that. Because we all know sleep deprivation is not good for anyone. Ooh, one last thing. Examples of troubleshooting would be changing the environment of the room, changing the temperature, changing the sleep prompt that you may potentially be using changing up the timing of your bedtime routine or the timing of feeds before and after sleep. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, which is why sleep specialists are so good at what they do because they've specifically trained to be able to figure out the child and the house and the situation because no two people are alike. I really hope this helped. As a side note, I made another salad by Baked by Melissa and it's delicious and my kids love it too. Lots of veggies. Make sure to follow her.